Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three items from Molly's Bakehouse. We have bonbons, we have rum balls. And rainbow cookies. We have actually tried Molly's Bakehouse before. We've had some jelly-filled donuts, and we've had some cupcakes. Uh, these were $9.99 each at the Fresh Market. And they also had a uh, uh, honey cake. Honey cake and what something else? It was uh, a roll, um, a raspberry. Oh, roll. that's right. Yeah, I probably should have gotten the raspberry roll. <laughs> that sounds good. But these sound better to me. So I picked out three things. Like I said, nine ninety nine each. They're gluten free, dairy free. They're kosher for Passover. Um, Molly never wandered far from her grandmother's apron strings. Born into a family of European artisan bakers, she was destined to dust up some flour and wet some tasty pastries. Today, her bakehouse pays homage to her grandmother and namesake as she brings naturally crafted goodness to families everywhere. So the, oh, oh okay. didn't expect, didn't expect that. that at all. Yeah, I thought both, they were just going to be loose in there. Both of us were surprised, as you could tell. I'm going to let you deal with I'm that. I'm glad they're, they're sealed in plastic, though. I am too. Um, I, I am too. I think that's I'm not great. glad now that I need to open them. I think it's... Did you find it, an opening? I haven't seen that. How many duns does it take to open half a plastic bag? No, I think it would go through. Surely to goodness you don't have to cut it with scissors. No. I figured I'd keep reading. I know how. I it. Ah, okay. It's just in the, it was just a little bit there. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Gluten-free, lactose-free, Kosher for Passover, Molly's Bakehouse, mollysbakehouse.com is in Brooklyn, New York. It looks like a bell. One ounce, 28 grams is 130 calories. There are 12, about 12 servings in the container. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're expecting a cream in the top three. No, how cool. It, it does look like a bell though, or something else. It, it's a bonbon. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That bottom white part is a cookie. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple, it's a cookie. That, that's it's a very um, soft, crumbly kind of. Yeah, and then one. that chocolate part at the top is a cream. Is a cream, yeah, and it's kind of a whipped flavor. Yeah, it's not very sweet though. No, it's not. Yeah, pretty. Um, it. Um, yeah, there there is not a you're I think honestly all the flavor that you're getting, you're getting some flavor from that cookie, that base cookie. Let me go ahead and give you this because we know we're gonna have to open it. That's all right, I know how to do it. Um yeah, now he knows what he's doing. Um you are getting some uh flavor from the cookie, but I think most of your flavor from those is coming from that dark chocolate. On the outside. On the and outside. It is dark. Yes. So yeah, so it is a, I like the chocolate. I do like it, but it is dark. Um, I don't think that whipped chocolate has a, Much a, flavor at all. there's not a lot of sweetness there. No, there's not a lot of sweetness. So if you're looking for a dessert that's not overly sweet, but dark chocolate, I do, I do like it. It's just not something I eat a lot of. Right. Because there's not a ton of flavor there. No, there's not. It, um, it's okay. And there's not sweetness there either. This is no sweetness, no lot flavor. Rum balls, and one ounce, twenty-eight grams is one hundred fifty calories. There's about ten in the okay. container. Like so you get bright sprinkles or black sprinkles. That's brown. Oh, you can get the or, or, but they're all the they're same. they're all the same as that. You can okay. Get, I'll eat the rainbow one so. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. Love the texture. Mm -hmm. I don't get rum though. There's a hint. I like mean, a it's hint. a very mm -hmm. like they kind of went. Well, <laughs> I'm getting it more towards the end, like once you've swallowed the aftertaste in your mouth. Mm. But no, all I taste is cocoa. But. Yes, you get cocoa, but I am getting rum, but it is, it's just, I mean, it's like a hint. They didn't put much at all in there. Um, I'm tasting more like, you know when you make your own 
like cocoa, not buttercream, but just frosting. Mm -hmm. And you sometimes, it, you don't add enough sweetener to it, so it's not as sweet enough. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what that reminds me of. And I completely agree like with you. It's just like chocolate cocoa thick frosting. I agree, but I'm getting a hint of rum. Yeah, I'm not It's not it. near as strong as like... The German rum balls. The German rum balls, or like a Tortuga rum cake. Yeah, it's or, nowhere near It's that. not like that at all. Yeah. I mean, this is my... So if you don't like rum... You could tell, oh yeah, you could tell eat these between the bonbons and the rum balls. I like the rum balls better. I like the rum balls better yeah, too. Because they have more flavor. They have and more they don't flavor. come across as bitter. I like the texture of them yeah. and everything. So I could I could do some damage to that box. Yeah, the rum balls are actually good. It's just they don't taste like rum to me. Right. Okay, so this. So Kevin and I have never understood this. They're called rainbow cookies. They, it's cake. It doesn't yeah, look like cake. it doesn't look like a, a cookie at all. But that's what they're called as cookies. Kind of like a Jaffa cake. It's called a cake and not a cookie. Jaffa cakes are cake. Jaffa cakes are cake. I know, but this is really a cake. This is not a cookie. Definitely not a cookie. No, but I love. We've had uh, rainbow cookies before. So 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 good. I'm assuming the chocolate's going to the bottom. Uh no. No, you think it's supposed to be like that? Yes, I, I would. Well, I mean, <laughs> I would leave the chocolate on top because you're gonna smush it into the plate and lose some of it, right? Maybe uh, I, that's what I would think. It I looks like it has apricot. Yeah, jam. is that what it is? It should be. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly, it's apricot. Two ounces, like. two hundred calories. There's about six servings. So what you would do? There's three hunks of cake. You would just half them and and um, it feels and a little, you're gonna have more than that. You're gonna have one, two, three. No, you're gonna have six. Okay. Um, it feels a little dry. It's not, luckily, but it did feel dry. I love that that jam. Yeah, you know, but it's supposed to have raspberry preserves. Oh, raspberry. It looks like apricot. Well, they put raspberry in there somewhere. Raspberry preserves. Yeah, if you look at it, that's a light color. That's not raspberry. That's definitely mm -hmm. like a like an apricot. The, this oh, this is yes. This is my favorite thing here. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite. We did a review a long time ago of rainbow cookies. And I remember those being much stronger. Yeah. Um, so, I, and I don't know what brand it was. I would have to search the channel myself. Um, but I do like this quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I like good. it. Has a great texture. It has a. It it, it has the texture of a, 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 a regular cake. And, but then the strawberry, I mean, uh, the raspberry uh, preserves, I guess that raspberry is coming across, but I do agree with you. I think that's apricot in the middle. It sure tastes like apricot. Uh -huh. I think that that's what we're mainly tasting is apricot. But then I do like the texture of the chocolate on top. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate, I was worried about it being a dark chocolate like the first, the bonbons were being bitter, it really doesn't come across as bitter. No, I think it's the same chocolate. It probably is, but it doesn't. you get so much sweetness in the jam that you don't get that bitterness. Yes. Whereas the bonbons, all I was left with was bitter. Right. This, um, unfortunately, um, in our area, this is the only time of year uh, around Passover time. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but uh, around Passover time, this is the only time that we see um, these rainbow cookies mm -hmm. and to be frank i've only seen them in uh the fresh market that's where we yeah, bought them they don't years sell them ago. at kroger or walmart or anywhere like that no so because i mean we're constantly looking at the bakery and baked goods and stuff like that if i lived in a uh, like new york in a place sure it's just a done. melting pot I bet you they have some of the, the best rainbow cookies ever to try. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm glad we get what we get. You know, I'm glad that we get to try some at all. So, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with any of these. No. I think the biggest thing is they lack a, a, a lot of flavor. Yeah. The, the most flavorful thing here is by far the rainbow cookies. Yes. But the rum balls were good. They just didn't have enough rum in them. 
Yeah, I wish that rum had been. I would. I, when I have a rum ball, I want to taste. Yeah, the you want to taste the rum. Yeah. And the bonbons um, is probably something I would never buy because they were bitter chocolate to me. That's just my personal taste coming through. Though. Right. Um, yeah, I don't. I just if you buy these, don't go in with expectations of something really, really strong. And maybe they're not supposed to be. You know, um, we have been told by other people. We do not know ourselves, but we've been told that Passover food is blander food so maybe that's just it is what it is uh but i hope you enjoyed the video i'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching